Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. We're going to be going over some games we, I played with the Tribe against Clash. A, a big rivalry we had between them. And yeah, so we're just going over the games right now. As you see, we've already started. And yeah, this is the Team Queso League. And right now we are playing Hot Zone. Hot Zone, I actually love it. I don't know what your guys' thoughts on Hot Zone is. But I feel like it's a good addition to competitive. And I'll definitely have to see it in more in the future. And it's being replaced instead of Bounty. Uh, which I quite prefer because I, I don't know. I don't know about bounty. It's been quite still recently and yeah I don't like the ideas of that you can draw draw Anyways right now we have a very very strong lead and it's just I feel like we really gel well together on hot zone We just are like a very good Controlling team here and as you see we are just getting a insane amount of control here And I'm gonna be just taking down the turret and I'm gonna be playing. I'm playing Colette here in both the games we have. And as you see, I just did an insane play there. Colette is a really, really good guys. And that's gonna be wrapping up game one. Moving on to the next one. Here we are, guys, into the next game here. And as you see, uh, we decided to keep the same comp because it worked really well. And they decided to uh, get rid of the bow and go for BB. Uh, it kind of just favors me even more because I'm really good at taking tanks out. As you see, I am absolutely annihilating Chaos there. And Tom. He just beats Bali Lane, which is also really good. So we have two good long, uh, lane controllers here. And then Symantec on Pam. Nothing can go wrong. Symantec is an amazing Pam. Very consistent. And I get a good dash there. Keeping Symantec alive so he can pop his gadget. And we are looking good right now. I'm gonna be, I'm, I was going to go for the dash there, but I hesitated. Because I didn't want to just get myself weak when I come back. So as you see, I'm going to be just getting the zone. Gia did decide to swap planes because he was finding it uh, hard against Tom. And we do get the mid uh, control there, so that's very good. And Chaos is switching lanes, so Tom's going to be struggling a little bit more. Uh, especially when Chaos has that shield active. Right now, Semantic is going around for the pinch. I go for the dash. I think I should have hit that dash. And that cost us a lot of percentage there. And could have kept Semantic alive as well, I think. But as you see, I got another dash. Tom has his head, and he can just take down Chaos. So that was really well played. And I'm going after Muniz there, getting a dash, very useless there. And this shot, guys, this shot clutched us the game because about one more second there, and Gia would have got them that zone. But luckily, I was able to uh, get the kill, and we won this game by 1%. And yeah, so that was very, very close, very clutch by me. Anyways, moving on to the next set. Here we are, guys, into the next game now. And as you see, we have a uh, delayed start, but it's fine. So, Spen's weak. I'm going to be getting gems. And, uh, yeah. So, Tom's going to be on Surge. We decided to go for a, I'll say, a decent HP comp here. And they decided to go Fragile Brawlers. So, I think that worked to our advantage a lot. Especially with the Nani pick. The Nani just absolutely slaughters all three. And, right now, I have my Bow Mines already. So, Piper can't really go to mid. So, Piper has to just play around and maybe help lane. So, as you see, that's exactly what he did. Chaos missing an entire super. Not good. I'm going to be uh, left alive right now. I'm on mines there. Munez does get greedy and we just capitalize on 7 gems there which is big. I get another kill. I have even more mines and this allows us to just get the countdown going. Very very clutch by me and good control by Spen and good aggressiveness by Tom. Making the whole comp work in general. And as you see I have 11 gems. I basically can't go down here and I get another kill with mines. Tom sits on Chaos's face and that's going to be a, another dub guys moving on to the next game so here we are, guys into the next game now so Sven decided to go pipe up but he unfortunately went the wrong gadget he had the knockback gadget which doesn't help in any circumstance against these three brawlers so yeah that was quite unfortunate but again we have to play on we have to move on and Tom with a nice aggressive play forcing Chaos to pick up the gems there and maybe I should have killed Munez here, but you know, I it's very hard to hit bow shots when like bow's attack spread is very limited. And as you see right now, Spen is just struggling a little bit. He can't go for the aggressive Piper plays. Uh, but good dodge there, but Kie just gets a double kill there, and I'm left on my own here. So as you see, I'm struggling a little bit, and I'm gonna be going for the kill. And right now, I'm getting closer to my mind. That's the main point right now of me at charging my mines. Then we can hopefully get some mid control going. But they do have, I think now they have 10 gems. Yeah, they have 10 gems on the field. So they just need to pick those two up. But Tom with a nice aggro play. Forcing Munis to go back. Spend with a beautiful snipe there. And right now we are doing really good at pinching. Uh, Spend's going to be just breaking up the map a little bit. Helping himself out. 
Uh, again, this helps out all of us. But these portals were really annoying because they just kept tripping my mind. Making my mind useless. And I'm not getting any value for my tripwire gadget. So it just really sucks there. And they're going to be just able to pick up that gem. They're, they need one more here. And again, the portals are just being a nuisance towards us here. As you see, we're just going to be taking them down. Chaos has, again, 9 gems. So he's not going to be going aggro. But there's no need. He has a lot of range on us. And his portals are doing all the work. Uh, Gear does get his peep head and he's gonna be able to just TP and get that gem and he just retreats So that was a, a very smart play by him uh, Tom is gonna be just moving towards the mid part now and we only, we only need two more gems, but there is not enough time on the clock and Tom's been going aggro Tom's been going around all we need is one kill on either chaos or Gear. Tom one two and three gets the reset spam with a very clutch kill and I don't know how but spam managed to jump out there guys So that was really well played by Spen and Tom for recent the countdown. That was the main part of that. Spen does get taken out, which is quite unfortunate. And again, my mind's getting tripped by the porter, so that's not really a good. But as you see right now, Spen's gonna be just trying his best here. And there you go, there goes my final uh, mind towards the porter. We do have another six seconds, and I tried to uh, say keep them away, but there's just no hope keeping them away. They get countdown, they get Tom's gem as well, and. I, tried, I, I can tank that, but there's just no control there. Spetton has the wrong gadget. And yeah, it was just awful, but we put up a really good fight in that circumstance. Anyways, moving on to game number three. Here we go, guys, into the third gem grab game for the second set. Uh, we decided to go Carl and Brock because we feel like we needed more control and more hard hitting brawlers there. I feel like Bo wasn't, you know, doing as much as I wanted to, especially with the Mr. P. We thought they would stay Mr. P. That's why we went the the Carl instead of the bow because that's better anyways chaos was just absolutely smacking me Spen had the right gadget so Spen is absolutely hammering them unfortunately he misses that gadget though and if you got that that would have been really really good but again chaos is gonna be able to tp on me i can't really do much here. it's kind of expected of me getting dominated like this but again guys focusing on tom here now tom is doing it really really well and he's just keeping his range and just getting good value and Spen again getting a nice little double kill there, getting a kill with the gadget and then getting GA in the mid. Again, Spen with a nice little tap. Tom just forcing Munez to yeah, stay back because Munez just can't push up at all. Again, Spen with a double tap and this allows me to push up because I know Surge is there. I need to just stick around Spen because I know Surge has one more TP left. So I really don't want him to TP on Spen and so I'm going to be staying behind him and just shielding him for a bit. And also shielding him from like peep heads as well. So as you see, I just super back to stay alive so that Spen doesn't have to struggle. Uh, Spen has just been carrying this whole game, guys. Uh, so as you see, Tom getting a nice little shots there. Spen goes lane, gets a double tap, and allows me to push up easily, pressuring uh, Gay there. So Spen is going to get Spen's going to be able to get the ninth gem there. We need one more there. Tom gets uh, killed by Chaos. That was really well played. I'm going to go get the mid gem here. And I'm be just dodging the peep head. He teleported for some reason. I don't think that was a play. I think he should have uh, maybe gone for spend there. But anyways, this really favored us. I died, but it brought the gem right to spend. And as you see, spend just uh, with a cry emoji. And he's playing lane here. Getting the aggro play on. And yeah, I'm going to be just rolling on gear. Getting the kill. Spend going to jump up the air. And that's going to wrap up. Set number two, moving on to set number three. Here we are, guys, into set number three. I didn't play for this, Semantic subbed in. And as you see right now, they went a really good comp to counter us. They went triple tank, so yeah, well played by them, good prediction. Uh, we didn't quite expect this, but we did improvise during the game. So as you see right now, they're going to go more aggro. Spen's going to get closer to their face. Tom's going to get a nice kill there. Spen with a nice good head, uh, head there. And Tom's going to go for a nice little solo play there. Boom's going to jump. And he's going to be able to score there. That was really, really well played by Tom, guys. Absolutely clutching up in that scenario. And as you see, they do have Gadget. They do have Bubble. They have a uh, dash as well. Semantic goes for the shot. Uh, he definitely could have scored that. He just went a little bit more forward. But yeah, it was right on the line. That's why, quite unfortunate. As you see, the ball's there. Stone goes for the TP. Gets one. Gets two. 3v1 scenario here. And they're going to be able to... Get a kill Munez, Spen's going to be able to shoot it in and that's going to be game number one for Rubble done relatively quickly. Moving on to game number two. Here we are guys, into a game number two on Rubble here. Uh, this is match point for us, so if we win this, we do get a nice little sweep on Clash. So as you see right now, Spen's going to be getting good hits on the Nanny. 
And Gear's gonna be very weak here. And then Semantic, as you know, as I said before, he's a really, really strong Pam. Probably the best Pam in the game. And he's just really good at winning his 1v1 engagement. Again, Tom just absolutely annihilating, uh, I think that was Muniz on his lane. And we get the first goal within the first minute of the game. So that's really, really good. And we went for the Kerbal pick in case they did go tanks again. So yeah, and Kerbal for long range fullers. So it kind of worked regardless. And spent with a nice little kill on Gia, opening it up, allowing us to play more aggressive here. As you see, Semantic's going to be going for the 1v1 battle here, and Semantic never loses these. And he has a little bit of support from Spen here. Gia's going to be coming up supporting Chaos. But I think Chaos is going to go down here. Yeah, nice little shot by Spen. And Gia is going to be going for a really good TP play. Uh, maybe Spen should have gone for the shot near the far post, but it doesn't matter. Gia breaking up the wall so Spen can't trick shot it. That was actually really smart. Don't know if he meant it, but hey, it worked. Anyways, right now we have uh, Semantic just staying behind the wall, staying passive. Tom keeping his range. He has absolutely insane range, so he doesn't really need to uh, stay engaged. Spen with a nice little long range shot. Semantic going to be going aggro here, and this is what I like about Semantic's playstyle. It just gets you out of the situation because he just goes aggro, and Spen with a, a nice little kill on Gie. Going for the play there, Munez and Chaos are the only ones up. Tom's going to get a nice little shot to Munez. I think Munez is going to go down here very soon. Uh, Mina's still healing up though. Uh, there we go. His healing has stopped. And Sven's going to go for the opening play. Sven with one kill. Sven goes for the shot. And Kale saves it. But that's going to be a team wipe. Giving us a sweep on Clash, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like for some more competitive gameplay with Tribe. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.